All right. <laughs> this I have my notes here. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but I've been in finals week, so I had no time. <laughs> so I finally had some time, and I know the hype has passed, but I really wanted to make a video about 13 reasons why. But this video will have spoilers, of course, because I don't get it. I don't get the hype. I truly don't understand. But first, I have to make a few disclaimers before starting this video, I feel that it, that is necessary. I don't think depression is attention seeking, I think it's a real illness and I take depression seriously. I've never had any mental illness issues, ever, and I'm not a therapist, so just to clear this thing. But, um, there's, there's two separate subjects I want to talk about, about 13 Reasons Why. First one is the, th the theme, suicide. And the second one is about, like, as a cinematographic piece. Okay, okay let's start. My, my main problem with 13 Reasons Why is that they set out to make a show that wanted to raise awareness for suicide so I don't get why they chose Hannah as the main character I didn't read the books as well so this is just from the show I think she's a horrible character like not in the way I don't like her I don't like her but to represent what the series wanted to do I don't get her first of all she's an unreliable narrator if you want to tell a story that people should take depression seriously, don't put the unreliable narrator as a main character. I think an unreliable narrator is a great resource tool for telling a story. But if you want to tell a story where you're saying people who are so subtle are not lying, they're not asking for attention, you don't put an unreliable narrator. During the series, we have proved that Hannah lies in the tapes. So, how can we take everything she said seriously after we've been proven she lied? You know what I mean? She is also... This is the script problem. That the show is very tell don't show. Usually, what my teachers tell me to do is show don't tell. Like, don't make a dialogue to explain the situation. Make a scene that explains the situation. But the show tells you, like, Hannah doesn't show any signs of depression. She's just having the proper reaction of having bullshit happen to you. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't show signs of mental illness. But like I said, I'm not an expert, so maybe she does. But I didn't buy her performance of having mental illness. When they showed her the scene of getting to the pharmacy and getting the and buying the razors, I didn't believe like I didn't believe she was at that point. She's also very mean. <laughs> like you know the final episode where you know Justin almost jumps off a bridge, Alex got shot in the head, either by him or Tyler. Tyler is planning to go on a killing spree. And Clay says he's on antidepressants. So, like... And he has panic attacks listening to the tapes. So, I f And I feel like that's the intention she did. She didn't... I feel like Hannah made the tapes to hurt people. You know what I mean? And that, to me, makes the theme of the show totally invalid. Like, I really like the concept of the tapes and all. But not for a show that wants to raise awareness for suicide. I think the story is fine. But the way they treated the story is totally weird. And I think she decides so fast to kill herself. Like, so fast. She says she asks for help from the dean, the whatever, Mr. Porter. 
But like she doesn't ask help from anyone else. Like she tells him she's been raped. And then he says she has to move on. And then she says, yeah, that's it. Nobody's going to help me. And then kills herself. Like must have taken, what, a week to, to, to tape the tapes. So between getting raped by Brian, Bryce, and killing herself, it was half a, half a month. That's not, that's just a decision to be taken it so easily. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's another reason why I don't buy it. Because she says, I asked for help and nobody helped me. Which it was a lie. Like, she asked help from Mr. Porter and he was a douchebag. She didn't ask help from her parents and I understand why. She didn't ask help from Clay. Her relationship with Clay annoys me so much. Like, I swear to God, I thought her tape to Clay was gonna be you were the one who could have saved me, but you didn't. Thank God it wasn't that. I was gonna kill someone if it was. But, she acts like Clay knew all the, the whole time that she liked him and she should have made a move. Like, Clay is so insecure and she knows he's so insecure. Like, she plays with that. But, and she pushes him away. But she expect she does that throughout the series. She pushes people away and then she expects them to help her because she wants them to help her. I... Hannah's not a good main character for this type of series. Also, it's... I thought it was very... not ironic, but... that it was a show that, peop that the people who are affected by it couldn't watch. Like, there were so many triggering scenes. I'm not triggered by anything, but I couldn't watch the suicide scene. I couldn't. I just looked the other way and waited for it to be over. And for... The rape scenes. Hannah's rape scene was very explicit, and, but I thought it was fine. But Jessica's rape, I thought it was so unnecessary to keep repeating the scene over and over. Like the episode had 50 minutes, 20 of them was Jessica, the same shot of Jessica getting raped by Bryce. So, I know they were trying to be different and to be shocking. But why? <laughs> like you made a you made a whole series to raise awareness for suicide, but people who are suicidal or have been raped can't watch. Oh well, another thing that I hate so much about Hannah. Some people I don't get it why they're in the tapes. Like I literally try to work it out and I don't get it why they're in the tapes. Like Sherry. I don't fucking understand Sherry's tape. I don't understand what part of the sto that story made Hannah want to cure herself. Because Sherry ran over a stop sign. And Jeff, 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 Jeff was like, it was obviously the old man's, Jeff died, it was awful, obviously the old man's fault. Because he was on the phone. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't the stop sign's fault. And how... Sherry, bless her. If the worst thing she ever did was run over a stop sign, bless her. I don't understand the drama over that episode. I don't get it. I seriously don't get it. Zach, I get it, but that episode was weird. That was... And that episode brought all this shit of the unreliable narrator. So... Oh, another person I didn't, I didn't get why they killed themselves have to do anything with it. Was Alex and Jess. Jess, the, the girl's name, right? Yeah. Alex and Jess dating. I don't get that. Like, how that drove you to suicide. And when Jessica says that... Hannah was the one who did who stopped showing. It was so easy to believe that Hannah was the one who stopped showing up to the coffee, but blamed the other two. You know what I mean? That's why I did the unreliable narrator. As a show, in general, not talking about the content, it was terrible. Like, if it wasn't for the hype, I wouldn't watch it. The dialogue
dialogues are awful, awful, awful. I wanted to cry every dialogue. They're so bad. And they get into that thing I was saying that they, they, the characters have to say because the show doesn't show. So the characters have to say what is going on for the audience to understand because if they didn't say you wouldn't get it, what was happening. We have 13 episodes. All the episodes are copy and paste dialogue of each other. The people who already listened to the tape are like, we have to stop Clay. And like, like everyone killed Hannah. It's the same thing. The dialogue never changes. There's barely any character development. Which brings me to the point that I think, I truly believe to have a time and patience, which I don't. If I would re-edit this series, I could make 13-15 minutes episodes and it would be the same thing. Series wastes so much time. It's very repetitive. It doesn't have to be that repetitive. Your audience isn't stupid. So there's gonna be a season two. Why? If it isn't Tyler growing up, going on a killing spree, I don't wanna watch. I don't care. The ending scene. Okay, let's end the video talking about the ending scene. What the fuck? I Tony. His boyfriend, Clay, and Sky drove into the sunset. That's the ending. So, I don't think 13 Reasons Why feels its purpose of raising awareness for suicide. Like, I know the numbers of people who had called Hotline Suicides raised a lot. And I'm so happy for that. I hope everyone who's satisfied of getting help. But I don't think the show did it in the right way. They were, to me, felt like they were more worried about shocking people and impressing audiences than raising awareness. I tried making notes to make this very linear and that I wouldn't forget anything. So, I hope it was understandable and that you enjoyed the video. So, like and subscribe. Also, I'll link my Instagram and my Snapchat on the thingy below because I'm going on a backpacking trip with my friends and I'm gonna be posting things on my stories and Instagram and whatnot. So, if you want to see me and my friends have fun in Europe, check it out. Bye.